My friends, when someone writes me and asks me what's the best military tactical tent on the market today, this is the tent that I recommend. This is the Light Fighter one person tent. This is by far the best military shelter ever made, ever. I understand that's a bold statement, but it's true. This is an excellent tent. And it's also one of the most versatile tents out on the market today, civilian or military. I'll talk about that and the reasons why that is in this episode and more. So everyone, thank you all very much for joining me for this episode. Let the review begin. Before going any further in this episode, everyone, make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel a lot. It's a great way to support the Outdoor Gear Review, which is 100% agenda free. I don't care if you purchase this product or anything else that I review, the channel is all about information and that's it. So thanks everybody, back to the video. First things first, everyone, let's do a component breakdown. Then I will set up the tent. You receive the storage bag, a repair kit, a setup guide, a pole replacement sleeve, and you receive six aluminum stakes. You have the fly, and then you have the body. With the poles, let's take a look at those for a second, because there are two different versions of these. The older version, they were aluminum poles. These are different. These are the latest version, and these are what the company refers to as ghost bone ballistic fiber poles. This is one large spider pole, and these poles are supposedly lighter, stronger, and more flexible and wind resistant than the aluminum poles that predated them. As I set up the tent, I'll go over some information and stats concerning this shelter. First off, let's talk about weight. You're looking at four pounds, 12 ounces, and that includes everything that you've seen in this video. Colors. It's available in Coyote Brown and also OCP Camo. Materials, the body, 40 denier poly mesh that has been treated with permethrin, which is a bug repellent. The body floor is a 70 denier nylon ripstop with a PU coating. This features a 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating. Aluminum stakes, ballistic fiber poles. The fly is a 40 denier nylon ripstop with a PU coating. And it also features a 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating. And when it comes to the measurements, when it's stored, you're looking at 16 inches by six inches. When the tent is set up, it is 84 inches long, 38 inches tall, and the bottom of the floor is 32 inches wide. At the head, it's 28 inches wide. And each of the vestibules pull 36 inches away from the body. When it comes to versions, there's two out there. There's a one person and also a two person. This is the one person. It's designed to lay on the ground and also to be used on a cot. You can also set this tent up using only the fly and the ground sheet, which is sold separately. That is what they call the hasty hooch. This tent has two doors, two vestibules. It is semi freestanding with the doors needing to be staked out. Additional components that can be purchased with this tent are the ground sheet for the hasty hooch setup. You can also get the cold weather kit, which we will talk about more in just a minute. Additionally, folks, the company has a product called the Tough Sack, which is like an external pouch for this tent. So if you're running a military pack, a tactical pack that features PALS webbing, you can attach that Tough Sack to the outside and carry the tent externally. And lastly, you can purchase a camouflage netting kit for this tent. With the tent being set up, let's talk about price and then take a look at some of the features of this tent. So price first. The retail price of this tent is $334, and that's for the Coyote Brown version. The OCP version, which you see here, is $346. Now that's the retail price straight from Light Fighter. This is a military product, so you can find this in the form of military surplus. The military surplus price of this tent is excellent, 100 to 200 bucks. At the time of filming, there are plenty of these tents on eBay, and that is a fantastic price for this shelter. Looking at the tent directly, you can see that the door is on the right hand side. It stakes out directly in front. Going over to the side, you can see that there's no way to pull the fly away from the body. And also, there are no vents with this tent. You have a storm flap that goes over the zipper. And behind the storm flap, you do have numerous Velcro locks to hold the flap into place. One, two, and three. You have two-way zippers, one at the top, one at the bottom. The doors can be rolled back and tied out of the way. On the tent body, you can see these buckles. You have these in each of the corners, and those are so you can attach the tent to a cot. With the doors to the tent, you have two-way zippers. And this is what the inside of the tent looks like. In the corners, you have mesh pockets. That's true, front and back, up top, you have more mesh pockets, you have two. And you also have loops so you can hang items if you need to. The tent features 
tape seams on the body and as well as the fly itself. You have plenty of space with each of the vestibules for backpacks, gear, and so on. Inside of the tent, as you all could see, there's plenty of space here to sit up. You can change clothes. There is enough space inside of this tent for a person, a pad, a bag, and some additional gear. Also, take a look here at the door itself when it's completely unzipped. You have a large opening, so it's easy to get in and out of. You have a bathtub floor, and with the zippers, they are very, very smooth. Already I've gone over the stats and features of this tent. We might as well start talking about my experiences with it and begin with a review. I've been using this tent for roughly two to three years and I can tell you this much. This is the best military tent out on the market today. It features a very civilian design, but at the same time, it's military grade. It's built like a military product and you can feel the quality and the strength when you hold this product. I've used it throughout the third season in rain, in storms, some very severe. And I've also used this tent during the winter. And that's because of a very interesting product. It's called the cold weather kit, also known as the wind breaker. You can see here with the tent body, it features a lot of mesh. The cold weather kit, the wind block, it's a layer of fabric that attaches and it adds basically everything that you would want from a four season tent to this tent. It's a very smart piece of kit. And my review of this is coming up next week. Because of that cold weather kit, this becomes a hybrid tent. It's incredibly strong for summertime use, and at the same time, it's able to handle snow loading and also strong winds. When you consider the price of this tent, both new and military surplus, it is an incredible value. Let's talk about leaking. I have had some leaking, not from this one. Originally, I purchased one of these tents from eBay. The seller claimed that it was brand new, but it leaked. There was a small leak that came from one of the doors. I was able to seam seal it, and that took care of the problem. From there, I got another tent from Light Fighter, and it has not leaked. That is this tent right here. These tents as a whole are extremely weatherproof to the point of being very impressive. At the same time, ventilation and condensation control is good. It's not great. The saving grace here, folks, is that the fly pulls away from the body. You can get quite a bit of airflow underneath there to circulate inside of that tent to minimize condensation buildup. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, you cannot pull the fly away from the body at the front and back. That is something that Light Fighter needs to address because it will increase ventilation and airflow, but will also give the tent a better setup, a tauter setup. Without the ability to stake the front and the back, the fly itself is a little bit loose when it comes to the setup. So there is a little bit of flapping around in the wind. With that being said, the tent itself is extremely sturdy, especially once you stake it out. And that is something that you will have to do because this is a very tall tent. Because it's so tall, it does capture quite a bit of wind being blown into the tent itself. Something else that I would recommend for Light Fighter to do is to include four guy lines. There are placements here for four guy lines, but none are included. I think the company should include those and also four additional tent stakes so you can really hunker this tent down. This is a very strong, very sturdy shelter and with those additional guy lines and stakes, it could be almost bomb proof. Until Light Fighter does so, you will definitely need to add those components yourself, especially if you want to use this tent in the wintertime. Let's focus on the pros for this tent for a second. First off, the quality of this tent is excellent, especially for the price. Again, full retail and also military surplus price, excellent quality. Considering that this tent can be converted to a four season tent, the value is incredible. The bang for the buck is awesome. Four season tents are very expensive and this is a very inexpensive option to have the best of both worlds. You can have the mesh for the summertime and then you can add the cold weather kit for the winter. If you're someone who likes military products, tactical products, this is an awesome piece of kit. The setup process is super simple. Once you're proficient with the setup process, you can set this up in roughly five minutes. And once you add the cold weather kit, it takes another five minutes. The storage bag is of a good size and it easily fits the tent. After the initial issues that I had with leaking, the Light Fighter version has not leaked at all. And I've been out in rainstorms with this tent where it has rained heavily all night long. I mean, six hours straight of rain, no issues. Whoa, get ready. Again, the ventilation's not bad. It could be a little bit better if you could pull the fly away from the body. Talking about the shelter being out in strong winds, I've had this out in roughly 40 mile an hour winds with no issues. If you have this thing staked out, if you have a guide out, this thing becomes a rock. It stays in a place and you will have nothing to worry about. As far as snow loading, I've had roughly six inches on top of this tent with no issues. Something that you need to keep in mind with this tent is that while it's very, very strong, it's not an expedition tent by any means. So if you're going to go out into a blizzard, I would recommend a four season tent, a true four season tent. But if you're just going to go out into your average winter storm, this will handle it very well. 
Overall, condensation management is very good with this tent. Air circulation is excellent, and also the fly is pulled away from the body itself, so you don't have to worry about those two coming into contact together. The zippers are very smooth, the quality of the materials is very good, the bug mesh has kept all bugs out, and the weight of this tent is also excellent considering the fact that this is a military surplus product, and also it's a three plus season tent. Complaining about weight when it comes to a military product is like complaining about having breakdowns when you buy a Chrysler product, right? Those things simply go together. So military surplus, lots of weight. Chrysler products, lots of breakdowns. That's how it is. The price of the tent as a whole is excellent, especially for what you're getting, for the strength of the product. And one last time, the cold weather kit is incredibly smart. It really is. It adds so much versatility to your tent system. It's incredible. Make sure to check out my review next week. Switching gears over to the cons real quick. The biggest issue that I have for this tent is the fact that you cannot stake out the front and the back. And because of that, the overall setup of this tent is not the tightest. I would like to see it being a little bit more taut. I'd like to see it having a little bit less flop in the material itself of the fly. Being able to stake out the front and the back would take care of all the issues that I have with this tent. And as far as cons go, everyone, that's pretty much it. I mean, in truth, for the money, this is an excellent system, especially when you consider that you can convert this to a four season tent. When you consider that, the value of this tent becomes even better. I mean, it really does. The cold weather system, is so smart, right? It adds so much versatility to the tent. It's an incredible way to have a three season tent and also a four season tent. Having such capability with your shelter system is extremely rare. I mean, there's only a handful of four season tents that allow for a three season conversion and they are extremely expensive. The tents that I'm talking about begin at $800 with the conversion kit being 250 to 300. So you could see the value here. I mean, it's impressive, it really is. And that pretty much summarizes my review for this tent. When it comes to military shelters, this is what I recommend. It is without a doubt a much superior product to any military shelter out on the market today. It really does feature the most civilian of designs while being extremely strong, very sturdy, and also capable. It's highly waterproof, very stable, and makes for an excellent three plus season tent. And everyone, that's it, that's my review. That is the Light Fighter one person tent. In the future, I would like to check out the two person tent, but unfortunately, the cold weather kit is not available for that tent at this time at least but yeah i want to hear from you all comment down below to all of my military buddies what do you all think about this tent i personally know of many soldiers who are jealous that they never got to use a product like this i mean they have the old military pup tents the improved combat tents and so on Whew. yeah this is such a better product and there's no doubt about it everyone take care be well strength and honor i'll talk to you soon bye everybody